Hi guys! So today I have here the Himi Oil Colored Pencils. This is a 48 set and do they not look so nice? Just look at these colors. It is quite interesting. They have these different shapes on them. We will see what that means and if it means something. So I'm not sure. So we have the 48 set as I said. It's uh, not a lot of information here. There is like a small color chart, but beside that, no names, no information about anything. So, yeah, nothing. <laughs> then, yeah, let's just go and check out the color pencils. Oh no, there is no additional box or anything inside, so you cannot take them off. You cannot pull all of them out, you can just like <laughs> take them out like this. Um, let's take a look. So what do we have here? So let's take a look at the red one, for example. So uh, it's written oil pencil. We have color number. Well, maybe color name. I definitely cannot read this. And it's written uh, Mia. So yeah let's take another one so this is another one with the dots so we have again uh, it's written oil pencil and the color number okay so there are a couple of them that have the dots then there are a couple of them that have the, the squares and these kind of lines and then you have these vertical lines mm -hmm. maybe the colors uh, fit together we will see so yeah from the thickness again it seems just like a regular colored pencils pencil nothing thicker no thinner just a regular colored pencil yeah so let's see i'm gonna do the swatch and let's see just how they are
Okay, so here are the colors that you get in this Mia Himi set. And yeah, I have to say that so this set, these colored pencils, uh, they are more on the dry side. side. They really feel dry. So when you are coloring, yeah, they, I don't know how to explain. So they are not so hard. They, they are a little bit harder, um, but they are not creamy and soft. So definitely not creamy or soft, more harder and drier colored pencils, but also not so hard. So that's the thing, but definitely a dry colored pencil. Um, I was actually having problems on this paper. They became uh, quite slippery. But yeah, we will see on, on a Stonehenge paper how they work there. So in this set, you also get the metallic colors. So the gold and the silver, the gold is definitely not metallic, while the silver is definitely metallic. There are no uh, brighter colors here. So we have one, two, three, and actually that would be it. All the others are more stronger. So let's see how they work on the Stonehenge paper. At the beginning, I thought I will only have a couple of colors per paper, but then I decided it is really a waste of paper to just have like two colors and then nothing else. So as you can see, I'm just filling up the empty spaces with other colors. So let's see how these ones are on this paper. Okay, uh, they are, yep, they are dry. But as you can see, I do not have to press too hard. The color is already coming out. But they feel dry and they already feel a bit slippery. So it will be interesting if I can get any depth here. Yeah, exactly, because of this, this um, slippery thing. I thought maybe it will be only on this paper where I did a swatch, but it is also on this paper, on the Stonehenge paper, which actually works pretty well with a lot of different colored pencils. what can we do here so even though they are harder and drier colored pencils I do like the, this result actually better from than the design journey Stettler colored pencils I did not like these ones they are also pretty hard uh, colored pencils these ones yeah they blend nicely but they lack that vibrancy um, really, there is there is not a lot of vibrancy here. Let's see if I can take another. What can we take? Let's see if this is the maximum of the layers, or I can go up. Yeah, actually, you see, I can definitely go with a darker color on top, so that works. Even though I've put so much layers, actually, but it is so dry that I do not. Nope, it is not, for me at least, it is not really fun coloring this. Ugh. Yeah, I, I can hear this sound and no. Even though it works. So that is definitely uh, the case. You can blend them nicely together. So the, the different colors, oops, I should have not done that. Uh, you can blend nicely these different colors. Um, they do make a, a little bit of dust, but it is a tiny dust. This was really a mistake on my side, what I did there. So yeah, um, but also with this one, this dark one, I it is so dry and it lacks that 
I don't know, it really likes the vibrancy. Yeah, so um, you can blend with them. That is not a problem, that is a positive thing. And when I was, as you can see, when I was uh, mixing these two colors with the red one, I was just not able to get that like nice saturation. I don't know, when I look here, what was this one? Uh, this was Black Widow. So it has much more of that vibrancy there. And yeah, so that is something that I will, I'm missing here, definitely. And yeah, not really a colored pencil for me because they are a bit too dry for my taste. They are too dry for my taste, but at least you can get the blend and you do not get so much uh, uh, pencil strokes on the paper so it is not so visible you can get rid of that so that is a positive thing yeah um i think no 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 wait um, i did not try the white one so i don't know where my paper with all the the white ones is so i will just try it here just to see how it is okay well no it does not seem to be anything special so let's see, see me. Yeah, just a normal white pencil. When I look at here, actually it looks pretty similar to the polychromos, but the polychromos is also not so opaque. So yeah, that is the Himi white colored pencil. Okay, so that would be it. Um, well, as I said, you get a lot of colors. Uh, oh yes, I forgot. So I did a swatch according to these um, to these dots. So here I have all the ones that had the dots, and then I think here are the the vertical lines. And then I'm not sure. That's why you see maybe one color. This one, for example, is here. It's just because I did the swatching according to these dots. I wanted to see which colors are actually there. In that set or in that range and if it makes sense but i'm not sure maybe a little bit it does make sense but this one here does not make sense to me but okay um yeah so i just wanted to tell you how i did the swatch and yeah too they're just a little bit too dry for my taste uh, but they are watercolor pencils. Oh, they are amazing. So I, I like their watercolor pencils. So those ones I would <laughs> buy immediately. I would buy definitely. But for for the colored pencils, I'm not sure. I, if you like drier colored pencils, then maybe these are good for you. They do blend well. Um, but not a colored pencil that I like. So yeah, that would be it. And guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.